I noticed that invariably these more privileged families were doing for their kids what was almost accidentally or incidentally happening for my black high achievers. Somebody out there was talking to them, was reading to them, was making sure their health problems were taken care of, were pointing them to a resource that they ought to be using, taking them to the museum, taking them to the library. So I put those two together and I wrote a piece that suggested that one of the problems in the achievement gap was the difference between the kinds of supports for academic development that come out of uh, one's family and community, which some kids were getting and some kids were not. And it was more typical of black kids that they did not get those kind of things. <laughs> 